Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here. Say you have to memorize the formula for p combination and permutations, the case without replacement or no repetition. How do you know which is which? Which is for combination? Which is for permutation? Because they look very similar. You've got n factor on the top, on the bottom, it looks same. The only difference is that this left expression has an r factorial as well. This uh, n is an integer value, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, something like that. r also takes integer values, 0, 1, 2, all the way up to n, so it cannot exceed n. OK. Well, knowing which one is permutation and which one's for combinations, we just have to memorize. Well, it's better to understand it, but uh, memorize will do it. For a given n and r, which is bigger? Can we say that permutation n and r is bigger than or equal to combination of n and r? Or that is less than? OK, well, this is true. For a given n and r, the permutations is always bigger than or equal to the combinations. Why? Because for permutations order matters, as I've explained in a previous video. Okay, so knowing that, let's go back and look at these two expressions. Right, they're both same on the top, n factorial. Look on the bottom, which one is bigger? n minus 1 factorial times r factorial, or n minus r factorial? Recall that n and r are both integer values, and n and r cannot be bigger than n. Okay, shouldn't take you too long to figure out that this expression here, n minus r factorial times r factorial, must be bigger than n minus 1 r factorial. So what does that tell me about the size of this compared to this? Well, since the numerator is the same, uh, but this, the denominator is bigger than this expression, it must mean that this number here must be smaller than or equal to this number here. Yeah, because you're dividing the same number by a bigger number on the bottom. But what we, we said is that the combination cannot is uh, no bigger than the permutations. So it must mean that this expression is for combination and this is for permutation. So that explanation required us to know that the permutation is bigger than or equal to the combination for the same n and r. How about if we forget this fact? Well, you can't forget it because if you could walk in, if you have a calculator on you, you can just check it, you know, just pick any two figures, n is 10, r is 6, do it for permutations, do it for combinations, and you'll find that permutations is bigger than the combinations, and then you know uh, how to, this uh, explanation works. Right, well that is the main lesson and we can stop there but why don't we just uh, stretch things a bit. Recall I said that in general permutations is bigger than or well, let's say not in general, I said that permutations, given n and r, permutations is bigger than or equal to the combinations. My question is to you is when is it the case that the permutations is equal to the combinations? What? It must be that for a given n, that given the n, there's a particular r that if I plug them into this equation and this equation, they both come out to the same thing. So think about it intuitively. When, for what value of r, given n, what value of r would it require to set this combination equal to this the permutation? At this point, if you need to stop the video and have a think, do so. Okay, using your intuition, so here's the answer, using your intuition, r is 0. If r is 0, the permutations for given n will be the same as the combination. In other words, p n 0 
is equal to C n 0. Next thing is, can you prove it? Okay, well I will do the left hand side and you do the right hand side. So the for the combinations here, when r is 0 we have that this combination n and r is 0 becomes n factorial over n minus 0 factorial times 0 factorial. 0 factorial is defined as 1. If you're not sure about that, plug it in your calculator again. 0 factorial, you get 1. So what we have here is n factorial over n minus 0 factorial, which is just the same as saying n factorial times 0 factorial, which is just the same as saying times 1. These top and bottom cancel out. Answer is 1. Now, if it is the same that for the permutations n and for r n and given n and r is 0, they're the same thing, must mean that if you plug r is 0 into this expression, you should also get 1. So you go and finish that off. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so that concludes this video.